Hi, this is Angela McFarlane and you're stamping with AMAC. Today I'm going to take you through making a card that I um, made using the Timeless Tulip Stamp Set and Punch. So this is a great bundle and it's got a great variety of sayings and stuff. And with Mother's Day coming up, I thought I would make a quick Mother's Day card. So this is the card that I'll show you. Um, how to make and it's quite simple and I never realized that this punch here this part of the punch doubles up as an actual petal to the flower as well as that it can be used as a leaf so I'll just show you how I did that so basically just taken an A4 piece of paper, cut it in half and I just fold that in half. Use my bone folder to get the base. And then I just used lovely lipstick which I cut out with the rectangular stitch dies. Save a little bit of time. I've just popped some double-sided tape on there already. And lovely lipstick is going to be retiring in the next um, couple of months. So if you really like that colour, you want to top up on your supplies, I suggest you go to my shop and top up on your cardstock and ink refills and stuff. For the white layer, I actually use the Stitch So Sweetly Framelits, which are super cute, and I use the biggest one out of those. So I've used that to layer there. And then for the stamping, first of all, I'll use the lovely lipstick. I've mounted all my tulip stamps, and I will... ink it up and this is a distinctive stamp as well so if your ink pad is super juicy it won't stamp as well so I've just stamped the tulip there and I will also stamp the petal in the same color so I won't be using this one as a leaf I'll just use that as a petal today just pop that over I'll get my punch out and the easiest way to use these punches they have a locking mechanism so you want to hold that down unlock it and let it spring up then you slide your image through and I always like to line it up by looking at it and then I just pinch it in place and then I use both my thumbs to pop it out so that's that part and on this scrap I'll just line up my petal and punch that out. So now I have my petal and my flower to go. So you can see how that fits perfectly inside the actual tulip and you can still see the detail of the flower there. Then I just quickly attach that with a couple of dimensionals to give it a little bit of a lift. I absolutely love this stamp set. I love tulips and it's just such a pretty stamp set. So I just want to offset that a little bit so it just gives it an extra petal. So I have that there. So I'll pop that to the side. Grab my scrap bit of paper because I'll be stamping on this now so I found the easiest thing to do to get the positioning right of everything is to stamp my images first so I'll already have that one pre-stamped and cut out so I'll just pop this one at a little bit of an angle and I found it's easier to stamp my flowers first and then I can add the stems afterwards so my small tulip I want at a bit of an angle coming up there so that's all my tulips in place and then I'm going to use both of these stems I'll use the slightly curved one for the bigger 
tulip and the straighter one for the two smaller ones and I'm using granny apple green for these so I will just ink up part of my stem and I can see that my flower is going to be there so I'll just pop that out of the way and stamp that so then I'll be able to attach my flower oops flower there just drop my stamp and I'll do the same for the others as well now I can perfectly line up because they're photopolymers I can line my stems up really nicely as well I can line them up like so then I've used one of the other leaves there's actually two well, there's three leaves all together so this one fits the punch and these two other leaves you can use for different shapes but I'll just use one of the leaves so I'm wanting the thicker part of the leaf to go upwards so I'm just going to line that up and position it where I want it to go and I want it a little bit higher up and overlapping my stem and once again I'll go a little bit higher up with this small one as well and it doesn't matter if you overlap the leaves it just gives a little bit more fullness as well so now that I've got all my leaves stamped then I can add my tulip in there and you can see the leaves sort of poking out from underneath so to attach this other tulip now I will just use some dimensionals and so as not to waste any dimensionals I've just come to the edge of my sheet and I've just chopped them up so you can see that you can use up all your little bits and pieces of your dimensionals as well so that'll be plenty to attach that to the front of my card and I hope you've had some time to craft during uh, this ISO period as well I'll just attach that and I'm happy with how that's come out and once again to save a little bit of time I've already done attach the double-sided tape on the back of this layer so I'll just line that up and sit it on my card so you can see that there's a nice little bit of dimension on the both of those and it just adds that extra little bit of layer to the card and I've also just pre-stamped my greeting and whoops and I've attached dimensionals to the bottom of that as well and I will center that there and once again for this little um, die I've used the smallest die out of the stitch so sweetly set so it matches the stitching and the scalloped edges on there and then to finish off the card and just pop okay I'll just get my take your pick tool and get my little spatula end out I'll get a few little diamantes and add them onto the card so my style of card making is fairly clean and simple and they're not overly fancy so that's my little design for the Mother's Day card I hope you've enjoyed that I'd love it if you could leave me a comment and tell me what you think of the bundle of the timeless tulips bundle and if you would be able to use it so the other greetings that are there as well are hello happy birthday get well soon happy mother's day there's an easter greeting 
it says what a beautiful difference one single life makes and may the memories of yesterday comfort you today so it's got a really really great range of sayings as well and you can do so much with the tulips and i'll do another video too showing you how to make a 3d tulip as well so thank you for watching have a great day and happy stamping